Leave me alone. <clears throat> Let's play. Oh, okay. WSAD to walk, shift to run. C to switch camera. E or left mouse button to interact. Oh. Oh, look at me. There I am. You know something? I'm going to play in first person mode, and I'm realizing now that that means that I can only use one hand to play this game. So I'm a little bit worried about that. I wish I could use the mouse. Oh, E. That was the weirdest sound I ever heard. Oh. What is happening? Why am I just standing there? <coughs> um, sir, what are you doing with that machete? Leave me alone. <laughs> Belt. Okay, 10 o'clock a.m. I'm interested to see where this goes. What is this even about? Why did I start that way? Ready to meet up with Noah and go camping. Okay, Jackson I Foster. Need to grab the backpack. And as a precaution, a lighter, in case we decide to make a campfire. Oh, hell yeah. I'm ready for that. Oh, retrieve your backpack and a lighter. Where would that be? I wish I could look around with the mouse, dude. What the hell? I gotta, like, search. <laughs> I mean, realistically, I could just switch to this. <laughs> just the way I'm standing, dude. But I don't know. I, I kind of want the first person thing here for some reason. I'm a little bit better with first person games. Uh, how do I know which door I came out of? What door is this? I guess I'll find out soon enough. I'm in the bathroom. Interesting shower, no shower curtain, all right. Ah, uh, yes, I can see myself in the mirror. No, I can't, I lied. I'm not supposed to be in here, dude. Where do I go? Already this game has started me off with complete confusion. That's where I go. Living room, there we go. Uh, backpack and where would that lighter be? Oh, hell yeah, dude, a PlayStation OG? I'm into that. Um, I'm assuming that's the front door because it's colored differently than the interior doors, so. I don't know why I'm in such a silly, goofy mood. Now, if I were a lighter, where would I be? Bread? Can I have that bread? No, I got the lighter. Okay, it says to leave the house, so I'm gonna do exactly that. Anything in the fridge? Nothing in the fridge, I'm pissed. So you mean to tell me the only thing I have to eat in this house is a damn loaf of bread? You know what, I'm, I'm not gonna complain. Pop that in the toaster. You know, I'm really hoping that music and this music is copyright Hey, Noah. Him. Excited for this adventure in the forest. Absolutely, Jackson. This getaway is going to be the best. Nothing like a good dose of nature to escape the everyday chaos. Hell yeah. Totally agree. Hey, I heard this forest has strange stories. Legends of things that roam at night. That's a good sign. Ah, you know how those stories go. Just legends to add more excitement to the experience. It won't be anything major. Just two guys enjoying the outdoors. Hell yeah, man. I hope you're right. But seriously, what would you do if we encountered something bizarre out there? Ha <laughs> ha! Man, if I saw something strange, I'd run faster than a scared squirrel. But on a serious note, don't worry, we'll be fine. It's just a camping trip. Nothing major is going to happen. You always manage to reassure me, Noah. Let's make the most of the night. All right. We're going to make the most of the night in this very strange forest that only has two rows of trees that are entirely flat. What? Who is that? Why are you? Did you not? Did neither of us notice the mysterious van <laughs> right behind us? I guess not. Okay, Whispering Woods. That's an interesting name. You know, I've been thinking I really want to do some camping this year. So once it starts getting warmer, I'm probably going to take some road trips. Cause I've only been camping once in my life and I was a little kid. Finally, oh, we've arrived. Okay. <laughs> this yeah. is going to be interesting. That's Noah. Let's get to it. How about this, Jackson? You set up the tent and I'll go gather some wood for the campfire. What do you think? I think that's a All swell. Right. I I'll start setting up the tent. Swell idea. Okay, set up the tent. Look at this clearing, man. Damn, dude. How would I set up the tent? Do I need to grab it? 
perhaps? Is it in the trunk? It's not. I just magically place it down. Oh, there we go. Okay. Retrieve the backpack from the car. You got it. Is that all we're setting up is a tent? That was quick, by the way. Yeah, as I was saying, I've only been camping once in my life as a kid, and I want to do it as an, a fully grown adult, which I am, by the way. Retrieve the lantern from the car. Couldn't I? I have two hands. Couldn't I have grabbed both? These games and their wildly inaccurate measurements of my strength. <laughs> What the hell, dude? Pop the lantern down. Explore the map and wait for Noah. Um, I don't know why, but that doesn't really seem like a great idea, but I guess I'm gonna go to the right. Wow, these trees are, oh, okay. I guess I'm not gonna go there. These trees are oddly uniform for some reason. Is me exploring the map just me exploring this clearing? Because it doesn't seem very fun. Okay, well, it's clear this is the direction I have to go. My God, the head movement is a little much. It's a little too much, to be honest. What? Is this a graveyard? What is this? A graveyard? Thanks for clearing it up. Wow, man. I don't know how, but they got exactly the same gravestone for every single grave. Noah's back. Return to the tent. But wait just a damn second, dude. What is this? No. Oh, my God. Title, Macabre Discovery in Whispering Woods Cemetery. Date, September 19th. 1982. The tranquility of the peaceful Whispering Woods Forest was once again disrupted by a sinister discovery when a body was found in the local cemetery. Residents who frequent the forest for outdoor activities and visit the cemetery are perplexed by the, ex the disturbing event. Sorry. Details are still scarce, but initial reports indicate that a passerby discovered the body during a morning walk through the cemetery. Authorities were immediately alerted and are conducting a thorough investigation to determine the victim's identity, as well as the circumstances that led to this ominous discovery. The area around the cemetery has been temporarily cordoned off as investigators seek evidence and clarification on the incident. So far, there is no information on eyewitnesses or possible suspects. Residents are expressing growing unease, reigniting old rumors and dark stories associated with the forest and the cemetery. Authorities are appealing for community collaboration urging anyone with relevant information to come forward to assist in solving this dark mystery. The investigation is ongoing, and updates will be provided as more information emerges. Well, that's fun to know at the campsite we're staying at that that has happened. I don't know what year it is, but if it's anytime close to 1982, then we should not be here. Okay, I see something in the distance. Is that an outhouse? Uh, that is a giant ass building, dude. I can't even go in there. Okay, I'm a little bit very much unsettled <laughs> by this windowless box of a building made of brick. I'm going back. Noah, you better be cooking up something good over there, man. Wait, you said you were doing the campfire, right? What is this? Is this you, Noah? Are you there? It's hard for me to see with my head bobbing around like that. I guess it's you. Hey, Jackson. Hello. I brought the firewood. Let's set up the campfire. It's getting late. Okay. Jackson, do oh. you have something to light the campfire? I brought my lighter. I brought a lighter. It's in the car. I'll go get it. Hell yeah, dude. Jackson's okay. Jackson, you're looking a little bit off over there. Are you okay? Have you been getting enough sleep? Because I'm a little concerned for you. Let's go get this lighter and light up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh. Lighter in hand. I gotta say, I really like the music choice in this game. It's actually fitting the mood very, very well. E. I do wonder what it would look like through the other camera angle, though. Oh! Man, nothing like the warmth for the good campfire to ward off any weird feelings in the forest. Uh-huh. I agree, Noah. Sometimes, it's good to escape the urban routine and enjoy nature. So, speaking of which, how about telling some spooky stories? They say it's a camping tradition. Oh, this should be fun. Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. I have one to start. Ever heard of the local legend of the Silent Trail Ghost? I have not. Hmm. No, I haven't. What's that story? The music is a little loud. They say, many years ago, a lone traveler got lost in this forest. He walked a narrow trail, but was never seen again. They say now, at night, you can hear his silent footsteps wandering through the forest, as if still searching for his way home. Cool. Well, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained. 
but there's always something eerie about this forest, don't you think? And that's why we came here. Sometimes, imagination plays tricks on us, but hey, we're here to have fun. No ghosts are going to spoil our night. I sure hope not. I agree, man. No legend will stop us from enjoying this getaway. Hell yeah! Look what at his leg! A long time passed. Jackson and Noah talked for hours. No beer? No food? No... Never mind. No, it's very late, and I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to sleep too. I'm exhausted. Glad we're in agreement. All right. Good night, Noah. We're going in the same tent. Good night, Jackson. Are we saying good night now? We haven't even prepared to go to sleep. We're going in the same tent a few hours later. Okay, I don't, I don't like the fact that the camera is following. What was that? I better wake up, Noah. I have a feeling that was Noah. And there we go. Isn't here. What is he? <laughs> He's dead. You just heard a scream. Find Noah. He's dead. Press F to pick up the lamp where I I got it. Okay. Um Do I go? Maybe I should go to the right. Cuz I didn't get a chance to explore this side yet. I'm sure it's going to let me through. It is. I was going to make a joke about it not letting me through, but it did. So now I'm in unfamiliar territory, dude. This is gonna be a little bit spooky. But I'm ready to take on the challenge. I have to find my friend. Oh, uh, okay. We've reached we've reached some tall grass. What does this look like from this angle? Hello! No, I feel better about being in first person for some reason. It's a lot more cinematic, the experience. What am I doing? Oh, another house. This one with actual windows. Definitely doesn't look seedy as hell. So, uh, here we go. It's locked, of course. Can I go around back? Should I go around back? Oh. E? Oh! I'm inside. Okay, maybe this was the right move then. Oh my god! I see another note over here. Oh, come on, dude! You can't. Mystery in Whispering Woods Forest. Date January 27th, 1983. In a shocking turn of events, the serene Whispering Woods Forest, known for its tranquility, has become the stage for a mysterious incident. Authorities were alerted after the discovery of disturbing evidence, suggesting a possible murder deep within the forest. Details are scarce at the moment, but sources indicate that the incident occurred during the night, adding a layer of mystery to the occurrence. Authorities have not confirmed the identity of the victim or the possible perpetrator, keeping details under wraps as the investigation is ongoing. Local residents have expressed shock and concern about the situation, recalling urban legends and old stories associated with the forest. So far, there are no reports of eyewitnesses to the incident, contributing to the enigma surrounding the event. I'm sorry. Authorities are appealing to anyone with relevant information who may have noticed suspicious activities in the Whispering Woods area to come forward immediately. The investigation continues, and more details will be released as information becomes available. All right, well, at least they got their workshop all set up. That looks pretty nice. But they could have done a little bit more cleaning. All right, I'm going in here. I kind of wish the rooms were interconnected and I didn't have to black out every time. Oh my God. Okay, here I go. Should I go forward? Oh, I'm going forward. I really hope I don't miss anything here. There's a lot of doors too. See, if you spruced it up a little bit, painted the walls and put some actual drywall on there and cleaned up the damn floor, it wouldn't look that bad. But of course, all these indie horror game houses have to be absolutely disheveled and terrifying to look at. Okay, well, there's nothing going on in this room. Curtains are moving in the wind, which leads me to believe the windows are open, which leads me to believe I- ah! <laughs> I'm just standing there, dude. Well, there's the killer. Um. Oh. Whoa! Escape! You don't have to tell me twice! I'm fucking out of here, dude! Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm terrified! I'm terrified! I'm terrified! Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so fucking scared! I'm so fucking scared! Ah! Ah! Oh, dude, okay. Where the fuck do I go? Where the fuck do I go? Oh my god. Oh! No! I died! Alright, well, that was great. That was a Grand old time. What's in the other room, by the way? I guess I can't go in there. 
Oh, full nip action going on right now. Full nip action. There we are. Okay, I think I'm making it out of here unscathed. Oh my God, dude, why is it so intense? Why is it so intense? Please tell me why. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a heartache. All right, this time I'm going way out in the field, bro. So I don't get attacked. Did I not trigger him? I think I might be in the clear, dude. Look at me. P perfect strategy over here. I'm out. For all I know, he could be chasing me. Should I turn around and look? Oh, shit! He's chasing me! Why did I do that, dude? I was in the clear! I was in the damn clear, man! Oh! All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's the campfire. Ooh. Ooh. Should I go in the car? Should I try going in the car? Should I try going in the... I can't go in the fucking car. I can't go in the fucking car! Oh, I died again! Okay, this time, same strategy. Go all the way out. And then all the way to the right. Oh my God, dude, I'm not looking behind me again. That was a horrible idea. I don't know why I did that. You know, it could be that there's a trigger point over here for people who are like me and decide to try to game the system. And if I hear the music, then I'll know. Maybe I'm good. Oh, I think I'm good. Okay, it's time to just go, dude. I'm not gonna waste any more time. You know, shame on me for doing the logical thing and trying to drive out of here. Where? Oh. I thought I was going to get stopped up again and then the same issue was going to happen and I don't want to have to restart this whole thing. I think I would sooner quit. Just go. Fucking go, dude. Don't get... So what am I getting stopped by? An invisible wall? Well, it's time to enter the, the dungeon, it appears. And this is probably going to lead back to the beginning of the game, no? Maybe? Oh, God. Okay. I'm not... I'm running. I'm running, dude. I'm running. Here? Oh. Oh, yes! So what do I do? He's gonna kill me. There's no exit. Here he comes. <laughs> Leave me alone. It's gonna happen. Yep. Well, that was Leave Me Alone. What an interesting experience that was. I gotta say, I love games like this that are just so campy and like wonky, simplistic. It gives me such hefty vibes of like 80s horror slasher movies. And I love those movies. They're a lot of fun to watch, mainly because they make me laugh. And this pretty much did the same. There's a lot of goofiness and wonkiness, but overall, I think the pacing of it did a good enough job, especially when it comes to this format. I think, uh, I think this game was enjoyable enough for me. To be quite honest, I would have preferred having like to be able to use my mouse because I don't know, using one hand to play a game like this is a little kind of hard for me to do, but it makes sense because I guess the game is meant to be played in um, the fixed camera angle perspective instead of first person. I do like that the option is there though, for you to be able to switch in real time between both perspectives. So yeah, there's a lot to like about this game. Obviously it's not the most polished, it's not the most extravagant, amazing thing out there, but it was still a lot of fun to play. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up here. If you guys like this and you maybe wanna try the game out for yourselves, I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description as usual. And once again, I thank you all so much for being here and showing me the support you show me on this channel every single day. You all mean the world to me. If you happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Leave me a little comment, let me know how you feel and if you're new to the channel and you like what i'm doing here please consider subscribing it really helps me out a lot once again i thank you all so much for watching this video and i can't wait to see you all in the next one take it easy